Travelista Terry and I am here in Aruba. This Dutch Caribbean island is the perfect Travelista destination because it's multicultural, has perfect weather year round, and has natural beauty that lends itself for adventure. Let's go explore. Aruba is known for its white sandy beaches, cultural diversity, and it being the A in the Dutch ABC Islands. Yes! I am in Aruba! Upon my arrival, I checked into the Aruba Marriott, peeped the pool and beach scene, and wasted no time before heading out to try my hand at stand-up paddleboarding. The bigger the board is, the more stable it is and the easier it is to use. Big board. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I've seen kids, young people, and old people do stand-up paddle boarding, and they make it look easy. It's about balance, control, keeping your back straight, your knees bent, elbows bent, and paddling in the right direction. It sounds easy, right? Well, it looks easier than it actually is. After 30 minutes of stand-up paddleboarding, I was finished with this unintentional abs, butt, and leg workout. Later on, I met up with Kirsten from the Aruba Marriott to learn a little bit more about the property, amenities, and things not to miss before leaving Aruba. The H2 Aces Adults Only Pool is a great escape from, from the resort. It's a, it's a place where you can relax. It's very tranquil, very, very relaxed, a lounging area. Uh, we have rum infused snow cones for adults to make it a little bit more playful. Um, you can enjoy wireless internet and um, also there are pool cabanas at a, a rental fee. Now that I have the 411 on what to do and where to go, it's time for me to set sail on a catamaran sunset cruise. As we geared up to set sail, I thought it would be a nice idea to say hello to the captain. He was oh so friendly as he explained to me where we were sailing and allowed me to help navigate the boat along Aruba's scenic coastline. After cruising around a bit, the music kicked in and the dancing began, and I headed straight to the center of the boat to merengue with the ship hand whose moves were right on point. After a fun sail, it was time to rest up for an early day at Arikok National Park for a tour of the flora and fauna that is unique to the Southern Caribbean island. Edicock National Park here in Aruba. I am surrounded by cacti and all sorts of plants and I'm about to meet with the medicine doctor Julio who's going to tell me all about them. Let's go. Welcome to Arikok National Park. Here we're going to be at a, park, a part of the park that's called Kunuku Arikok. Kunuku in our language is like a farm. It's a large enclosed area where in the past people used to grow corn and those type of things and also where they would have their goats um, on the same piece of property and basically what you see outside of this enclosed area we call Mondi. That's like really um, nature itself. What I quickly realized is that the natural landscape in Aruba is not lush and tropical as with many other Caribbean islands. The land is dry and is the perfect climate for succulent plants. One thing also about the flora is that about 60% of our plants or local plants are homeopathic. People use them as medicines. So what is this? This is the gel of the aloe. This is the oil. Um, usually in this state, when you put it on your body, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll start stinking like rotten chicken. Oh, so All don't right. get ticket. All right, no. But on the other side, if you have a sunburn uh -huh. and you put this oil on that sunburn, there's nothing better than that that works. Also, the gel inside, um, people in the past here would Cut it in small pieces, it's very bitter, but they would mix it with a little bit of sugar, eat it. It's very good also for your stomach, for your intestines, it, it just um, keeps them in shape. We humans nowadays, we suffer from so many diseases, but I think a lot of those diseases are self-induced. All the processed food, everything we eat, it causes these problems. And, and I'm a firm believer that if we start going back to nature, believing in nature the way it is, a lot of the illnesses we have will disappear eventually. You can grab that fruit, yeah. you can eat it. It's a very healthy fruit Are you ready? to eat. Uh. 
This here is what they use to make the cashew nuts, they roast them. Mm -hmm. But this fruit, you can eat it, it's yeah. very healthy. It has a lot Can I of, try it now? Yeah. Mm. It has a lot of vitamin C in it. These are anoli lizards. Um, in Papiamento, we call them toteaki or waltaka. In addition to the incredible flora and fauna here, Arikok National Park is home to some incredible cave paintings by a small clan of Arawak Indians known as the Kakatiyo, who inhabited Aruba around 1000 AD. This place is really full of surprises. What an incredible adventure here in Aruba. From my encounters with the medicine man, to the friendly catamaran captain, to the calm waters of the Caribbean Sea, I have only just scratched the surface of this cactus-strewn, multicultural gem in the Dutch Antilles. For more travelista adventures, check us out on Facebook and Twitter.